Let's now talk about underwater gardeners. As the name suggests, they plant but in seabeds. And a group of them in Denmark has been working for our cleaner future. They are hand planting new carbon capturing saplings. Our next report telling you more. Diving into the waters, these underwater gardeners are planting for a better future. This is part of a five year project. The aim is to restore the once lush eelgrass beds. The eelgrass or the seagrass is uh, fundamental to life in, in Weilefjord and into our inner, inner uh, seas in Denmark. Uh, it's like a nursery for, for the small fishes. Uh, it's like the, the forests of the sea. And we've lost maybe 90% in Weilefjord uh, over the past maybe 30 years. Coastlines around the world are home to seagrasses. They used to be found in abundance, but not anymore. In fact, more than 70 species of seagrasses are among the most poorly protected. Dirty water discharge from land has led to years of degradation. Earlier, underwater gardeners had spread seeds, but that did not work. So the new project of planting shoots by hand is hoping to restore what's lost. Divers take surviving grass from remaining beds, then on shore, volunteers wrap individual shoots around a degradable iron nail, so divers can easily pin them on the sea floor. We are divers, so we, 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 we are able to do this and capable to do this. So uh, I think this is, uh, must be our duty to be on uh, to be underwater gardener and help also to clean up the ocean sometimes and stuff like that. Somebody else they can do it on land, but we can do it underwater. It's claimed to be the first project of its kind in Denmark. And while the impact is yet to be known, the marine life has immediately made it part of its home. As soon as you've put down a shoot, something moves into it. Whether it being little shrimps or little gobies or blennies or like um, needlefish. So nature is really calling for structure. According to data, Denmark has lost an estimated 80 to 90 percent of the once lush eelgrass beds. Eelgrass is a win-win for humans and the fauna. The marine life thrives among them and for humans it means a cleaner planet. These meadows bind and store carbon dioxide, the heat trapping gas that drives climate change. Climate change can be very hard to to think about and to know it's like out of your hands and people don't know how to do anything about it and this is like a practical approach so we can bring people out here and say this actually helps you can do something about the climate change it's estimated that more than 100,000 eelgrass shoots have now been planted by hand but experts say that things must also change on land before these underwater forests can return to their former glory. We will report Vion World is One. We on now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.